We know that thousands are on the road, though, heading home after a long holiday weekend, as Drew was just talking about, mm -hmm. most likely this afternoon. Yeah, so there is expected to be some heavy traffic it's expected all across Colorado, especially up in the high country. That's where we find Fox 3 One's Courtney from. She joins us live. Courtney, how's it looking? Good morning to you both. It's actually looking pretty swell. Not too bad, but again, it's still pretty early, especially for a day most people have off. Um, but you can see a lot of the traffic is picking up just a little bit. We got up here about five o'clock this morning and it was pretty dark and desolate, but now cars are starting to make their way out. But just to give you an idea of just how busy it could be if you're getting ready to get on the roads. Last year, 186,000 people traveled through the Eisenhower Tunnel for the holiday weekend, and that number is expected to increase. Heavy traffic expected this morning, like a busy ski weekend and higher traffic volume means more stop and go. So just be alert and be patient and get on the roads early. We cannot emphasize that enough. CDOT says traffic on I-70 tends to peak eastbound on Labor Day from mid-morning. So it'll be here in just a few hours to late afternoon, especially between Eagle Summit and Denver counties. Now CDOT, all their projects are paused for the holiday, but will resume tomorrow. Ah, uh, it's nice. I love the scenic view. It's really, really, really like an um, insanely insanely amazing view for us so we're from ohio you have to have like um probably early like eight o'clock in the morning you have to have an early night sleep so that you will not be really tired now last year csp investigated 53 crashes on the western slope that involved serious injuries and death between memorial day and labor day a lot of those due to distractions like texting and driving on the phone and driving touching your uh, dashboard stuff like that also they investigated 405 wildlife involved crashes especially early in the morning like right now or earlier or even potentially the next few hours you got to keep an eye out for that wildlife because they could be crossing the road but if i had to guess a lot of, it looks like a lot of people are at the starbucks here behind us or potentially the mcdonald's stop in filling up getting a coffee and getting on the road. But for now, live in Idaho Springs, Courtney from Fox 31. I mean, that's where you'd find me. That's a plan. Sounds Hash good. browns of okay. coffee. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Courtney.